a number of recent studies uh, have reported on the, the obesity paradox in kidney cancer or renal cell carcinoma with the finding that obese people uh, appear to be at a, uh, at a higher incidence or a higher risk of developing kidney cancer but for some reason at a lower risk of dying from kidney cancer. And, and, and the reason for that is not entirely clear but there's thought that maybe the, the obese milieu may provide some protective effects for, uh, for death from kidney cancer. So we, we wanted to study that in more detail. Uh, and uh, at the Harvard School of Public Health, we have a number of, uh, of very, uh, very large and very long-running prospective cohorts. Uh, we have the Nurses' Health Study, uh, which started in 1976, and the Health Professionals' Follow-up Study, which started in 1986. And so we were able to construct, uh, uh, combine basically these two cohorts, and so we have over 170,000 people that were followed between 30 and 40 years, uh, with surveys done every two years to ascertain BMI measurements and all lifestyle risk factors, diseases, uh, um, food frequency questionnaires, medications, uh, to, to get a, an overall uh, assessment of, the, uh, of these subjects over 30 to 40 years. And what we did was we looked at um, the risk of developing uh, kidney cancer. We had over 500 cases of, of kidney cancer which developed during this follow-up period, but specifically also uh, looking at fatal kidney cancer. So these were people who actually died of kidney cancer, which, uh, w which is important because you have a number of people uh, now with, with incidental imaging where you get CAT scans for other reasons whereby you may diagnose cancers that may not be, be lethal. So we, what we wanted to focus on was the subset of, of kidney cancers that, that were actually fatal as well. And so what we did was we looked at, uh, at the impact of, uh, of BMI um, in a number of different ways uh, and, and how that resulted in kidney cancer. And, uh, and what we found was that when using the, a normal BMI is sort of um, 18 and a half to, to 25 or so as the reference group. We found that an increased risk of, of not just kidney cancer, but death from kidney cancer uh, in people who had a BMI between uh, 25 and 30, and especially if you were above 30, which contradicted a lot of those other studies. We included a number of uh, uh, of other known risk factors for kidney cancer apart from, from obesity. Hypertension is one that always comes out as, as being a significant risk factor. Uh, we included everything from um, hypertension to smoking to alcohol use, uh, um, prior NSAID use, uh, a parity in women, um, alcohol use, exercise, uh, physical activity, uh, to, to, in a multivariable model to control for all these other potential uh, causative factors of kidney cancer so that we can really focus down on, on just the effect of the obesity. What this stems down to is, is actually how BMI is measured. The majority of these other studies that did, find, did, that did find this obesity paradox measured BMI at the time of, of diagnosis, typically surgery. Uh, and, and when you do it that way, you have one measurement. And, and I think what, what it comes down to is a, is a combination of misclassification and selection bias in which there are some patients who may have more advanced disease or metastatic disease and may have lost weight and subsequently dropped down a, a BMI category. So you may have some of the, the, of, the, of the lower BMI categories that were enriched for more advanced disease. And so it appeared that they had worse outcomes. The, the strength of, of our study was that we we were able to look at average BMI over 30 to 40 years because it was taken every two years. So we had an average BMI, uh, you know, during that, that period where people would have been uh, obese and, uh, and we were able to look at that um, predicting for, um, for development of kidney cancer, development of fatal kidney cancer. And when we did it that way, it was clear that you had about a 50% increased risk of, of developing kidney cancer and about a 90% increased risk of developing fatal kidney cancer if you had a BMI above 30. And I think the, the main strength was that we, we, we had that ability to measure BMI over 30 to 40 years and in a cohort of a, over 170,000 people across, from across the U.S. I think the take-home message is, is that uh, you really need to be a, a aware of, of the exposure when, when you're doing epidemiological studies like this and making uh, 
you know, you know, fairly broad conclusions about that and not limiting it to just that that one measurement where there is the risk of, of bias or misclassification. And uh, I'd be interested in, to, to know if, if, if those other studies have the, have the potential to look back over time to see what, what the average BMI or, or, or what a prior BMI measurement might have been uh, to see if, if they still uh, find that, that the, the obesity paradox is, is still present. But I think this, this study just adds a, uh, an important factor or a potential explanation that might explain the obesity paradox.